أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم just a very quick uh, video to add uh, to the YouTube a video that has just been posted on the Endgame Islam channel so it's been the first opportunity to upload um, the main the bulk uh, of what needed to be presented a few weeks ago uh, before YouTube gave us uh, a couple of strikes on both our channels so Alhamdulillah, finally the work that has been done to go through the Qur'an and prove about the shape of the earth, prove the sh real shape of the earth that Allah says in the Qur'an, not what we think, not what others think, not what uh, non-believers think, not what mushriks think, not what Satanists think, not what uh, Yahud think, but what Allah says in the Qur'an. So that was finally able to be uploaded on the main Endgame Islam channel, YouTube channel. So that link should be below this post on the Telegram soon, inshallah, uh, very soon afterwards. But just very quickly to add to that. Um, so if you look at the title, it's all about NASA. Who are we taking our religion from? Who are we taking our beliefs from? Uh, are we befriending, in directly or indirectly, are we befriending those who are enemies of Allah and our own enemies as well that Allah states in the Quran so anyway just a little bit more to add because uh, based on what I recited this morning I could just see some things that needed to be added so I'll just quickly go through that inshallah and yes yeah, so th I use this book uh, for it's just a handy book I don't really like the translation and usually if I want to produce anything significant I would always go through um, I would always go through uh, all the translations going through the Arabic itself so this hasn't got any Arabic in it but just to give people an idea of what it is that they need to have in their mind in terms of context for what is being said because it is quite shocking for many uh, and hard to believe and hard to accept um, but yes yeah, so I use this I have other translations I have like uh, Ali Qurai I think Ali Qurai Abdul Halim I've got different books um, but anyway, so this is just what I use because it's handy, it's convenient, it's simple. And any questions I have beyond this, I do more investigation once I look at this after my recitation. So, Bismillah. So to add to that video, uh, some of the, the Quran ayats that have been investigated and assessed and uh, presented. Uh, looking at the recitation from today, uh, I can't remember what the date is, but... This was part of the recitation Surah Al Qalam, which is the pen. And if you look, um, so if I go through from verse 5, uh, you will see and they will see. Which of you is the afflicted? Your, your Lord knows best who has strayed from his path, and he knows best the well guided. So do not obey the deniers. The reason why I'm adding this is because that is the same um, Al Muqaddibin. That I've mentioned in the video. These are the al muqaddibin the deniers. Um, so I'll get to that in Surah Rahman, the Tukadhiban, and in, in Surah Al Mursalat, Wailun Lil Mukadhibin. So this is the same ones. So do not obey the al muqaddibin if you like. Um, so what does Allah say after that? They would like you to compromise. So they would compromise, yeah? That's, uh, again, I need to look at the Arabic, but I'm guessing that basically means acquiesce, yeah, dilute the uh, religion. So they would like you to acquiesce. They would like you to dilute the religion and do not obey any vile swearer. Again, I need to look at the uh, actual Arabic in this to see the specific nature of what this actually is being said in Arabic. But you get the rough idea. Do not obey the uh, al muqaddibin backbiter, spreader of slander, preventer of good, transgressor, sinner. Yeah, this is, I think those who believe, they will understand who this is describing. Rude and fake besides, just because he has money and children. Yeah, this is, this is a very key theme as well, about those who have the money and have the children, the appearances that they have. The appearances are deceiving. How they dress, how they sound, how they speak, uh, what they say, these hypocrites, these deceivers, just because he has money and children. When our verses are recited to him, he says, myths of the ancients. So what is the point being made in this passage from Surah Al-Qalam? 
do not obey the deniers, the al muqaddibin who reject these verses, these holy verses, these ayats in the Quran. Yeah, do not obey them, do not follow them, do not believe them. These satanists, scientists, deceivers, nasa or na nasha. I don't know how you say it in Ar in uh, Hebrew. Right, so just a little bit more on who these people are. These deniers, al muqaddibin uh, within the same portion of recitation, if you go back to Surah Al-Munafikun, uh, the hypocrites, so yes, they do exist. We can speak about them. We can't judge for ourselves. We can't say for sure, but they do exist. And there's a reason why Allah significantly mentions them. And there's a Surah named after them. So they do exist. Um, okay, so when the hypocrites come to you, they say, we bear witness that you are God's messenger. God knows that you are his God knows that you are his messenger. God bears witness that the hypocrites are liars. Yeah, liars. So that's another, I need to check what they've put in the Arabic, but it might be, uh, the reason why I might have mentioned this is because of the al-muqaddibin. That might have been in the Arabic. Because uh, again, uh, the muqaddibin or the kathibin or the kathaba, it's within the same root. Kathaba uh, is lying, deceiving, uh, falsehood, um can't remember the other ones yeah i'm losing uh, but anyway i've got them written down so it's all within that the same word they treat their oaths as a cover so this is another common theme as well you'll find that there is a screen that they use as their protection which is false oaths of swearing beliefs i think if i've understood this correctly they treat their oaths as as a cover and so they repel others from god's path evil is what they do that is because they believed and then disbelieved. So this is what it means, you know, to turn, to change, to go back on your word or go back on your own uh, fitra or mindset, you know, or belief. So their hearts were sealed and they cannot understand. When you see them, their appearances impresses you. Their appearance impresses you. And when they speak, you listen to what they say. They are like propped up timber they think every shout is aimed at them they are the enemy so beware of them god condemns them how deluded they are they are the enemy the reason why i'm bringing this up is because we need to be clear who the enemy is in these times of deception the deceivers who are the enemies yeah we have to be clear about that it doesn't mean that you have to go around uh, calling people things but if you don't know this how are you not going to be fooled so who is the enemy? The hypocrites who take oaths as cover, as screen. And they sound good. So again, we know, we know in these times, appearances are deceiving. The liar will, uh, I mean, the truth teller will appear as a liar and the liar will appear as a truth teller. So when you see them, their appearance, appearance impresses you. And when they speak, you listen to what they say, right? So they sound good. They look good. Yeah, they look the part. And do not take these enemies of Allah, these deniers, the al muqaddibin do not take them as anything but as the enemies of Allah. This is what I'm saying. So if you look at this, again, with this portion was also recited today, in today's portion, according to the moon, according to uh, Sheikh Imran Hussain's uh, Quran recitation, according to the moon. So if you look in Surah 60, the woman tested O oh, you who believe do not take my enemies and your enemies I think this is awliya for supporters again uh, I haven't got the time to do a proper presentation using the Arabic but I just want people to have a bit more context to what is being presented on the main Endgame Islam YouTube channel O oh, you who believe do not take my enemies and your enemies as awliya as your friends offering them love when they have disbelieved in what has come to you of the truth, they have expelled the messenger, they have rejected the messenger and you uh, because you believed in God. These are atheists, yeah, we know this, right? More than atheists. Actually, atheism doesn't exist. They do believe in something. We know that. Yeah, this is the Yehud and the Mushuk, but I'll get to that. They have expelled the messenger and you because you believed in God and your Lord. Because you believed in God, your Lord. 
If you have mobilized to strive for my cause, seeking my approval, how can you secretly love them? How can you secretly love them? <sighs> yeah, people need to wake up to what is said in the Quran, honestly. I do wonder sometimes if everything else is a distraction from this Quran on purpose. The answers are all in here. Uh, my approval. How can you secretly love them? Yeah, uh, people can judge for themselves if they secretly love these lies or these things that they've shown them to be a false reality. I, I know what you conceal and what you reveal. Whoever among you does that has strayed from the right way. Again, I don't like these translations. I think that should that's probably Sirat, Sirat al-Mustaqim. Whoever among you does that has strayed from the uh, Sirat al-Mustaqim or something like that, Sirat. Whenever they encounter you, they treat you as enemies and they stretch their hands and tongues against you with malice. Very clear, clear uh, words. Yeah, very clear. Quran is very clear. <clears throat> uh, they wish that you would disbelieve. They hate you. Yeah, they wish that you would disbelieve. Neither your relatives nor your children will benefit you on the day of resurrection. He will separate between you. God is observant of what you do. Yeah, there's that thing about the children again. People. Yeah, people will not be able to help us. Children and wealth. People, our people, our supporters maybe, or those who think are our supporters. Uh, children, wealth, relatives. None of this will matter. It's about you and what you believe. And who who is that enemy? So the enemy has been mentioned a few times now. Who is that enemy? If you're in case you're wondering, uh, and you want some more specificity of who this enemy is. So you look in Surah Al-Maidah, the table, uh, that's chapter 5. You go to verse 82 or ayah 82. You will find that the people of most, uh, the people most hostile towards the believers are the Yahud, the Jews, and the Mushrikeen, the polytheists. This is what I'm emphasizing. Who are we taking our knowledge from? Who are we taking our information from? Who are we trusting? Who are we befriending? Who are we becoming closer to? And you will find that the nearest in affection towards the believers are those who say we are Christians. That is because among them are priests and monks and they are not arrogant. Yeah? Come on, think about that. That characteristic. Truly, who does appear to be arrogant? Yeah? Claiming that they know that they have always had the truth and all of, all of the rest of this is false. Yeah? Who is it that's holding on to? Anyway, so this is the clear enemy. Yeah, Allah makes it crystal clear, the Yahud and the polytheist. And even all of these, uh, you know, it, it's amazing how Allah's put these two there, the Yahud and the Mushrikeen, because all of these secret societies are all different forms of Judaism in one way or another, or associated with Judaism in one way or another. And, the same, and, and if not, you can tell, do they associate partners? Do they seek, um, do they seek, things of this world and believe in things of you know other than uh, what Allah has said it's very clear it's very clear to be able to distinguish who these enemies are and if you go to surah al-mujadila which was part of yesterday's recitation the argument you'll find what is what is the situation of those who befriend those who are conspiring with satan against god and his people so have a look, Surah Al-Mujadila 58, chapter 58, the argument, uh, ayah number 10. Conspiracies are from Satan, that he may dishearten those who believe, but he will not harm them in the least, except by the leave of God, Allah. Obviously, the Arabic is all Allah, but it's all the same, the people who believe in the one God. Um, yeah, sure, some might have some distorted understanding of that God, but it's still the same God of, uh, you know, Adam, uh, Moses, Nur, Isa, uh, peace be upon them all, still the same. Yeah? It's the others that are in rejection, clear rejection. Anyway, conspiracies are from Satan and he will not, I mean, so that he may dishearten those who believe, but he will not harm them in the least except by the leave of Allah. So let the mu'mins, let the believers put their trust in God. Have you considered those who befriended a people with whom God has become angry? So I've mentioned now, I've shown the ayats about who, about what Allah says about uh, who the enemies are, how they appear, the hypocrites, uh, those who are deceiving, lying. 
and um, made, made it very crystal clear that Allah makes it crystal clear who that enemy is and now what is the consequence of befriending them have you considered those who befriended a people with whom God has become angry they are not of you nor of them I know you of them I think and they swear to a lie while they know they swear yeah that this is the truth they swear to a lie uh, that this is the truth <laughs> but we know otherwise God has prepared them for a terrible punishment. Evil is what they used to do. They took their oaths as a screen. There it is again. The oath as a cover, as a screen. I don't like how they've changed the translation uh, from cover to screen. But you'll find this is a common thing as well. If the same word is used, the same translation should be used, in my opinion. Um, they took their oaths. They took their oaths as a screen and prevented others from God's path. They will have a shameful punishment. Neither their possessions nor their children, there it is again, wealth, children, people, you know, all of this will be useless, pointless. It's you, what you believe, what you're standing for, what, what you are remaining firm on. Neither their possessions nor their children will avail them anything against God. These are the inhabitants of fire dwelling therein forever. On the day when God will res resurrect them all together, they will swear to him, as they swear to you, thinking that they are upon something. Indeed, they themselves are the liars. This is why I brought this up. I think the liars, again, is the al muqaddibin But again, as I've mentioned, uh, that word is uh, deceivers, liars. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. I had a whole, li whole list, but they'll be mentioned anyway. Satan has taken hold of them. Ah, oh, yes. So this is the Hizbu Shaitan. This was another uh, ayat that was quoted. So the al muqaddibin and the Hizbu Shaitan are one and the same. In my opinion, these are them, the people of NASA. Just one group. There's more, obviously. There's so many around the world. But NASA needs, the Ummah needs to wake up. Um, okay, so Satan has taken, even if there are foot soldiers at the bottom that are innocent and just doing their job and have no idea it doesn't it doesn't change the fact of who these people are at the top and even near the top yeah somewhat yeah that you know it's just like uh nhs you might know that the nhs's purpose is to kill people <laughs> yeah it, it's in there it's in there whether you want to believe it or not they've got it in their symbol they've got it in their the wordings i can't remember epsimorum whatever it was it's all there um uh, but then does that mean that the people working for the nhs are bad no, not necessarily. Same thing with the NASA. Anyway, Satan has taken hold of them and so God so caused them to forget the remembrance of God. These are the partisans, the party of Satan, basically. Indeed, it is Satan's party who are the losers. Those who oppose God and his messenger are among the lowliest. God has written, I will certainly prevail. I and my messengers, God is strong and mighty. Absolutely. And it finishes, you will not find the people who believe in God and the last day loving those who oppose God and his messenger, even if they were their parents. Look at that. It doesn't matter who they are. You will not find the people who believe in God and the last day loving those who oppose God and his messenger, even if they were their parents or their children or their siblings or their close relatives. It doesn't matter who they are. These he has inscribed faith in their hearts and has supported them with a spirit from him. And he will admit them into gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they will dwell forever. God is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. These are the party of Allah, yeah, the Hizb Hizbullah. Indeed, it's God's partisans who are the successful, the Hizbullah. May Allah make us amongst them. May Allah keep us away from the Hizb shaitan far from the Hizb shaitan May Allah keep us amongst the Hizbullah. Hizbullah. I think if that's the right one, Hezbollah. Okay, and just lastly, very quickly going through the al muqaddibin or yeah, the deniers who are repeatedly mentioned in Surah Ar-Rahman, chapter 55 in the Quran, uh, 31 times, which coincidentally begins at verse 13 uh, and really peaks, in my opinion, at verse 33. So again, we've, you know, us brothers, me, Imran, uh, brother Imran, brother Sadi, you know, we were blessed to do this session with Sheikh Umar Baluch, our first session. It was on Surah Rahman, inspired by, you know, Sheikh Imran Hussain's teachings. 
So respect, uh, you know, uh, may Allah uh, bless all of them for all the good that they have done and continue to do. So lots of gratitude to them. So very quickly, the Al-Mukadhibin or the deniers that are mentioned 31 times, not even mentioned, that's not even the right word, repeated 31 times. So let's have a look. This is where the problem is. Um, so it starts at 13. So which of your Lord's marvels will you deny? So which of your Lord's favours? That's fine. Marvels, favours, will you deny? It's supposed to be you both deny. Yeah, It's all about the two. Because if you go here, it's in the Arabic as well. I'm not just making it up. It's which of, the, which of your Lord's favours will you both deny? But you see where people will be misled through translations, that they won't be able to connect this. Who are the two that Allah is referring to? And it's here. Um... So anyway, it's, men it's repeated so many times. Yeah, which of your Lord's favours will you deny? Which of your Lord's favours will you deny? You can go through that. But who is this? So who are the two? You'll find it at 31. We will attend to you, O prominent two. Why is it two mentioned? Yeah. So why why is it that the two's left out in all of the previous ones when it is in the Arabic two? But when it comes to 31, it's two. Yeah, we will attend to you, O prominent two. Uh, so which of your Lord's favours will you both deny? And then who are the two? 30, look at 33. The society of jinn and humans. Yeah, It's the assembly. It's the gathering of the jinn and humans Yeah, who are not supposed to communicate. Uh, Allah knows best, but it does definitely seem that way. It's very strong. It's been like that for a couple of years now. And there has been nothing against this. There has not been any refutation or any alternative uh, understanding to this. Um... Yep, so it's the jinn and the humans. And, and if you're not sure, so look, who is it that is up to all of this, that's messing up with everything today? Allah taught us the Quran. Yeah, they're trying to uh, disconnect us from the Quran. He created us. They're trying to destroy us as a creation. He taught, uh, Allah taught us uh, speech. They're trying to restrict us from speaking, maybe even thinking. If you can't think, then you can't speak really clearly. Um... Sun and moon, yeah, playing around with that, our understanding, the stars, you, uh, the trees that have been destroyed. And I'm talking about the biblical trees, the huge, gigantic trees that people haven't quite recognized, that they still see them as volcanoes, I think, if I've understood correctly. Anyway, um, do not transgress the balance. Yeah, the balance being completely messed up. Uh, yeah, all of this was being created that they are in the middle of destroying. Because it's that's their belief, isn't it? It's through this destruction that they will get what it is that they have been falsely promised or believe this promise uh, to be true, which is not. It's from Shaitan, and he does nothing but uh, grant people delusions. Um, anyway, so you can go through that. This is the deniers, the al mukaddibin thirty-one times in Surah Rahman, and just one more time, which I only found recently. That is the same al mukaddibin the deniers that are repeated 10 times in Surah Al-Mursalat. So here you go, Surah Al-Mursalat, Surah number 77, chapter number 77. And it, it begins, so, Waylul lil mukaddibin It begins at 15 and then it repeats. But have a look at this. See, this is where the problem is with translators. It does not change in the Arabic. It's always Waylul lil mukaddibin but you've got wa on that day to the deniers. And then you've got, oh, here he decided to use liars. That's, I mean, I don't see that as a problem, but I think you should be consistent. Because if Allah has been consistent, then you should also be consistent in what you've chosen from the root words. So liars is in there, and so is deniers. And I think rejectors, look, <laughs> look at that. So he's decided to use all three, deniers. Liars and rejectors, but yet the Arabic is always the same. But anyway, the point I'm making is that these are the people. It's repeated ten times in the surah. I've circled them here. Throughout this surah, so people can have a look at that. And it's what I also mentioned is that it's interesting uh, that these people who are the deniers. If you're still in doubt, if Sheikh Imran Hussain's uh, um. Analysis of verse thirty is true, which does appear to be true. It's not. It's not. It's not like um, what did they say? Qat'i, like it's not absolute certain, but it does seem to be that way. Proceed to a shadow of three different 
I think branches is better, or even nations or peoples, yeah? Because if you look into that word, I've forgotten what it is, uh, but if you look into it, you'll find peoples, branches, nations, which uh, Sheikh Imran Hussein says that is Dajjal's three shadows of Britain, America, and Israel. So it would make sense, it fits. If that is true or if it's not true, that just supports more so who these deniers are. Repeated 10 times here and repeated 31 times in Surah Rahman. And that will be it. It's 25 minutes. Jazakallah khair for listening. And I hope uh, people can appreciate the gravity, <laughs> if I can even use that word anymore, the gravity of um, the truth that needs to be spread so that people can free their minds from these magic spells of who we are where we live, what we're supposed to do, and who not to follow, who to follow, uh, well, uh, the Quran ultimately in the times has come. We obviously know it's going to get harder and harder to know what is the truth. It's going to be confusing. But anyway, may Allah protect us all. May Allah uh, keep us continuing on the right path. I mean, subhanAllah wa bihamdi subhanAllah wa ilaha illa wa